Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we went on a little road trip um, to Connecticut and um, to look for this. To look for raw milk um, because it is illegal in Rhode Island to sell raw milk but not in Connecticut. And um, I found this, this farm here uh, through, um, another farm that I follow on Instagram. And, um, since we started making butter or decided to start making butter, uh, I wanted a more healthier option than store-bought heavy cream. Um, now the funny thing is I am actually supposed to be lactose intolerant, uh, my entire life since birth. And um, I'm wondering if there's going to be a huge difference in how my body feels with raw milk versus the milk that was bought in store. And if my mom is watching, please comment down below, whatever, you, just whatever, because you obviously know what my allergies were when I was young. Um, anyways, so I'm going to actually try this on video. Um, just let me get a little... Let me get a little glass because I don't want to just chug it right out of the glass. Now, this is a glass bottle here. You hear that? I'm not trying to do the stupid thing that all the influencers do. This is a glass bottle. They do not use plastic. Um, you're supposed to return these, but I gotta be honest with you. We actually tried to go to the farm because they have a farm stand, um, but it was really confusing. Um, even though it is on a route that I am familiar with, there wasn't signs and we weren't really sure where to go. And I think there was someone behind us. So um, we just found a place where they, they deliver to. Let's see if I can figure this out here. Oh. Da -da -da. Sounds like 1028, so that means doesn't smell like anything which I guess is a good thing because like store-bought milk you can smell um, now this is not this is fresh raw milk from pasteurized cows um, raw milk is not pasteurized so that's why you don't find it in Rhode Island or some places so I'm just gonna pour a little bit it has a really oops, has a really nice consistency and the color is even different too. See, I don't know if you can see, I chose a blue glass. Oh, that's good. It's almost, this is gonna sound really funny, but it almost tastes like I'm drinking half and half, except for it's not half and half. Um, and we'll see how my stomach reacts to this, but yeah, I um, I'm going to make butter out of this. Go ahead and find them on uh, Instagram and Facebook too, uh, especially if you're in like the Rhode Island, Connecticut area. Um, and um, I really hope to actually find their farm, but for now, going to wherever they deliver it to will be fine for now. And then I'm going to ask about returning the bottles because in Connecticut, because you, so the recycling in Rhode Island is different from Connecticut and I'm originally from Connecticut. So I'm used to like bringing these bottles to like say stop and shop where they have like a recycling center and you put the bottle in and you get your deposit back. Uh, but they don't do that here in Rhode Island. Um, but they want you to bring this back and it is a $3 fee, which I know sounds really expensive, but this is a half a gallon of glass. And you got to think about um, the fact that they need to buy these bottles too. So that is the raw milk adventure. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I don't know how I'm going to react to this. I know that um, butter wise, I think my body will react a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted on how we do with the raw milk. I don't know how often we will be able to get this, which is why I'm gonna make a huge amount of butter um, because you gotta think about 
you know, you got to drive there, the cost of gas, and you got to buy this and, you know, all that stuff. But for now, we're just going to just going to see what we can make out of it. Um, my husband plans on making cookies and biscuits out of the uh, milk and the buttermilk and the butter that I'm making today. So that's going to be really exciting. So yes, that is the raw milk. If you are a raw milk person, um, and if you also have gut issues too, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I know a lot of people do raw goat milk that I'm interested in. Um, but for now I am trying some, uh, raw milk from, from, from some very, very happy cows. Um, so that's exciting. So yeah, don't forget to hit that like, share, follow button. Thank you. Bye.